Anger and disgust as ex-NBC exec claims it's fine for the public to go after Baron Trump on the former first son's 18th birthday as he's branded disgusting and super creepy. Baron Trump turns 18 today. He's fair game now. How creepy. That former executive's name is Mike Sington. A former NBC executive has provoked ire online for saying Baron Trump, the youngest child of the former president, is fair game. Now he has turned 18. Mike Sington shared the bizarre message on X, insinuating that it's now fine for the public to go after the 18-year-old, along with a photo of Barron and his father taken from Melania's mother funeral a few weeks ago. What kind of weirdo waits for someone's 18th birthday to announce they are fair game? Someone that likes young men. Sington was criticized for the creepy message by many. After a huge backlash with critics calling him out for the alarming message, Sington quickly deleted the tweet. He said he meant fair game in terms of criticism from the press, but others saw it as meaning that Barron is now open to be harmed. Barron has been kept almost completely out of the limelight for much of his childhood, as a large proportion of his adolescence took place during his father, Donald Trump's White House tenure. He was the first boy to grow up in the White House since JFK Jr. in 1963. And Barron has lived through many of his family's scandals in his teen years. There are two huge problems. Number one, imagine if this was an 18-year-old female. If it was a daughter, the uproar would be global and it would be patently disgusting on everyone's palate, not just ours. And secondly, my issue is with the coverage of this, which seems to say that only Republicans had a problem with this person coming out from behind his keyboard and tweeting that Barron is now fair game. It's not. To your point, Chelsea Clinton has come out and said protect the child, and she probably would want to say protect him now. The issue is not whether he turns 17 or 18, that's one, but the issue now is just leave him alone, and we all feel that way. He's not the subject of issue, he's not the subject of controversy, controversy, leave him alone. And this person, Mike, to your point, his, his clearly demonstrated obsession with Barron, um, it's more than unpalatable, and I wish that someone would say that to his face. Garrett Ventry, former senior communications advisor to the Senate Judiciary Committee Republicans, wrote, this is super creepy. Michael R. Caputo, former assistant secretary of public affairs for the Department of Health and Human Services, said, this creepy NBC guy is completely broken. I wonder if he has kids, nephews, nieces. How old are they? I cannot stress enough how kind and polite Barron is. He's just a great kid, Stephanie Grisham, former White House press secretary, said. Grisham added that she saw a definite difference between Barron and his much older half-siblings, who include Ivanka, Donald Jr., Eric, and Tiffany, just very, very kind and humble and empathetic and smart, Grisham said. Not that I'm saying his half-siblings aren't smart at all. He was still only 10 when his father became president, and as first lady, Melania had to contemplate giving up the very private and independent existence she cherished in New York. A lot of people voiced their support for Baron Trump and condemned Sington. I'm not a fan of Trump in any way, but going after someone of any age just because they're related to someone who is in the public eye, no matter how repellent that person may be, is way out of line. Shouldn't he do something reprehensible first before people like that guy go after him? Reaching the age of majority is not a trigger to automatically start attacking a public person for no reason. But as long as Barron remains a private person, then he can't never be fair game regardless of his age. No matter his age, there is zero reason for anybody to go after Barron Trump. He has not done or said anything about anything. If he decides one day to be controversial, then yes, he would be fair game for criticism. What is there to go after? He's never tried to get public attention. He's never stepped a foot out of line or had a teenage scandal. And by all reports, he's a wonderful, intelligent, and reserved kid. 18 is still a tough age and everybody should leave Barron alone. He's still a kid, just like every other 18-year-old.